One of the important aspects when you do proceed with any sort of criminal proceeding, and we will cover this in other segments when we discuss forensic issues with regard to criminal proceedings, would be how do you prove that a certain person has actually been sending such messages? Do you preserve those messages? Do you conduct forensic analysis of those messages? What, what does a layperson do? Well, the, uh, you can do it yourself. You can get screenshots. You can save those. You make sure that you don't delete those SMSs. Make sure you don't delete those emails. Because that is original evidence, and if it is going to be produced in court, then you'd have to take these things to court and, and show them. Copies, I would not advise that you rely just upon copies. Make sure the originals are secure, safe, and are available. Um, but at the end of the day, the real investigation of forensic work cannot be done by you alone. It has to be done by the police. Uh, if it is the FIA, then the NR3C. If it is the police, then their forensic experts, if they have any in this area, for them to come and preserve this. Because they have to take what we call official custody. They have to search and seize such equipment and make sure that they keep it as case property. That's what we call it. And it basically becomes evidence. So I would advise strongly that you, you uh, try and preserve the integrity of that data and that, those messages, etc., and then make sure that the police actually is able to, uh, and you, I would say help them actually, because I mean, they have a difficult task trying to understand how these things work sometimes. So help them uh, through other means to try and preserve this and maintain chain of custody of all this forensic evidence. The best thing to do is get a forensic expert or some lawyer who understands how to deal with these things and then those steps, because it's just too long to discuss in this video, for instance, how to maintain that. But definitely do not delete them. Don't format those drives. Don't delete those flash drives. Don't change your phone and delete everything that's on your phone, because that is what is required in court. They need to see originals. Uh, so make sure you maintain those. Please remember that if you have any comments, questions, queries, any issues that we can help you with, feel free to send a, an email to the email that is shown on your screen at the moment, and we will do our best to get back to you uh, with any responses. This is Hajimul signing off uh, and looking forward to you viewing the next segments. Thank you.